Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hello, my name is Amy. I want to wish everyone a very happy holiday season, first of all. And of course, we have to end the year 2021 with a bang. So yes, we have a bit more unboxing today from the newest Cruise 2022 collection. I am super excited that I managed to track all of these items down they are very difficult to track down they are all very hot items from the current season which is why they all came in different baggies because i got them one after another and i had to source some of these from other boutiques in canada also behind me we have another styling haul super excited for that because i was looking to replace one of my really well-loved gray color jacket but this time i'm gonna splurge and i found two different options right here and i need you guys's help to help me decide which one i should keep because i kind of like both but i should only really keep one this video is in part sponsored by farfetch thank you so much to farfetch for collaborating with me again aside from the cashmere jackets we also have a few more pieces of ready to wear don't worry i'll be trying on every single item including the unboxed chanel items because they will go very well together I will link to my previous collaboration with them so that you can have a watch but this also means that I have a brand new discount code for you YT10AMY so this discount code is valid for 30 days so definitely don't miss out it's for a limited time only but just in time for the holidays I love shopping at Farfetch because they carry so many different designer brands from higher end to even lower end such as Maj which I have a couple pieces of Maj to show you guys their head office is in the UK however they source the items from all the boutiques around the world so it could be a department store in the United States or it could be a little boutique in Italy that is the main reason why they're able to offer so many brands with so much stock and sizing prices are often very competitive and especially you can use the coupon code if it's your first time shopping with them to save 10% at checkout shopping from Canada is that I can pay in Canadian currency so that even if you have something that doesn't work out and you need to return you can get your refund back on your Canadian credit card which means that there are no conversion fees I know it doesn't apply to every single country apparently but I think they do offer it in many many countries which is amazing if you ask me also shipping is very fast they use DHL to ship to Canada this coat came last so this coat came um, just about in a week time but the rest of the order i pretty much got it within a few days i'm able to try everything at the comfort of my own home and if something really doesn't work out i have 14 days from delivery to ship it back definitely check out farfetch if you haven't already i'm pretty sure they will carry most of the brands that are your favorites and they sell pretty much everything shoes bags accessories clothing uh, but I especially love buying clothing from them because they tend to have all the sizes, all the brands. Don't forget to use my coupon code at checkout, especially if this is your first time shopping at Farfetch. And yeah, I'll move on to the unboxing. We'll do all the unboxing. I'll try on everything and then you guys let me know um, what to do <laughs> with the jackets. These were all bought at separate times in separate boutiques because... Uh, my local boutique in Vancouver did not carry um, two of the items that I wanted. Let's go ahead and unbox this one first, which I did purchase from my local boutique. Let's do all the uh, small bags first, and then we'll do the bigger bag at last. So here we have a little booklet, and yes, it's, of course, jewelry one of my favorite things in the world costume jewelry to reveal really cute pendant with three charms a cc charm a uh, sort of like a white textured pearl as well as a metal hammered metal heart charm honestly i really did not need any more costume jewelry from Chanel especially since I am really trying to be good and be limiting my collection to you know the really special pieces and I guess this was so special that I had to get it because I I don't know I, I actually passed on this the first time 
and I could not stop thinking about it. So I had to go back to the store. Actually, I bought this with, uh, with Clara. I love these necklaces because most of them do have two different lengths. So I'm not sure if it goes with this top, but I was wearing a white shirt uh, on the day that I went shopping with her and it was so lovely because the white pendant just really pops. This is the back side of the CC logo. So it has sort of a, like a 3D curve. And like I said, the pearl as well as the metal is sort of like a hammered look and it's just strung together as a three charm pendant. Um, the chain is a pretty simple gold chain and it just has two settings. I have sort of been in a Chanel um, heart <laughs> obsession, kick, whatever you call it, uh, in a way. So I just unbuttoned one more button. So this is how it would look like if you had a shirt that is more v-neck. I saw this, uh, not in store actually, I saw this on Instagram and I asked my essay if we had any of these. Um, she said that she saw it at one point, but I guess it was sold out because it's so popular. So um, yeah, I think these are pretty much the most popular accessories from the season. And like I said, I really didn't need any more costume jewelry, but I just could not resist and I did not want to pass on this line, which again is more hearts. So these are just adorable hammered hearts, black CC stamped in the middle, and they are just the, the cutest thing. They're not very large, um, but they're very like bulbous. They, are, they, they have um, a bit of a thickness to it, and it's just, it's just so adorable. I, of course, had to order this from another store in Canada, so I could not try this on before I uh, bought it, um, but that's all good because that's how Chanel is, right? Chanel items are never easy to get, especially the hottest items. And I would say that uh, these were pretty popular um, on Instagram. Everyone was sort of reposting them or reselling them. This bottom part is sort of like the the earrings. I just thought that they would be matching. That's why I really wanted to track down the earrings. So yeah, they're just very subtle CC um, little studs that are puffy. And um, yeah, it's just the hearts, the Chanel hearts. They get me every single time. And I know Chanel is doing more hearts in the coming season, in the spring and summer collections. It's all about hearts, heart bags, heart accessories. It's gonna be crazy popular. So this is how the heart necklace and the heart earrings go together. Well, you don't have to wear it together, but I just thought they go quite well together. Just a little peek of heart from the ears, right? You guys are gonna flip over this one, or maybe not, but I do have something kind of similar in a way. But I just, like I said, they are still different enough that I had to get it. And um, I wonder if any of you guys can guess which one they are. Like I said, very similar, very, very similar. <laughs> Look at these, oh my gosh, guys. These are just absolutely stunning. Again, more earrings in the heart shape, resin on the middle with gold accent, so gold CC accent and gold frame. I don't even know if we actually got these in Vancouver. I suspect that we did, but they probably sold out so fast and I didn't really ask for them um, since I already had the other pair. This one, 21B, is so cute and so... Um, just so cartoonish in a way whereas this one is more vintage looking sort of more uh, more mature in a way but they're both just stunning and i of course i couldn't pass on all these heart earrings they are so stunning and really really beautiful they look like a vintage piece from the past i'm sure they've done a version of this in the past and it really pops right like this one is more 
it's sort of shy, it's sort of there, um, you know, you, you know that it's there and you feel that it's there, it's quite substantial, but it's definitely a little bit more understated, you don't quite see it, uh, but it does go with this necklace quite well. But this side is just, oh my gosh, I'm grown up now and I want to be seen. And I think they're both beautiful, but yeah, these ones are just real stunners and these ones are just real cute and real understated at the same time. I think they're both amazing, but I would have to say these ones are, oh, these ones are so good. So I will change out to the white pair since I think it makes my outfit pop even more. The size difference is quite significant. Obviously these ones are a bit more expensive, but I would say they're both worth it. In here, so let's open this up. They've changed all the camellias now to the paper one. Do you guys like it? I guess I don't mind it, but I definitely think that the ones from the past are nicer, right? They they just have more of a nicer feeling from, from being fabric. So this one is a pair of shoes. Let's all look together. So these are pretty hard to buy as well because they are very popular super classic combination um, and I think these are considered a classic style but it's just that um, maybe the just just the combo of color is not uh, is not always going to be permanent I'm not so sure if this one will be permanent but I just thought the the color combo was very very classic and ta-da these are I know, another pair of Chanel shoes. I went from no luxury shoes to so many pair of luxury shoes this year. It's just, I mean, it just, it's just crazy. <laughs> but I think these are so stunning. They are, you know, they're trainers, so they're not, you know, the most dressy thing. And it obviously does not even, I mean, I could still wear with this, but they they are definitely more on the casual side but i just love the color combo because it's just plain black and white so this color combo is very versatile i love all the just the little chanel detail on it i also love that the leather so the leather part here is a grain white leather so even though it's very white i feel like just because they're leather they're easier to to clean uh, at least for the leather part right this part is a mesh and it's fabric so this part if it gets dirty then um, you know you'll, you'll just have to scrub a little harder to clean it uh, hopefully uh, they will stay relatively clean uh, because a white pair of shoes always stand out so well as long as they are you know clean looking but like I said I just love the white with black accent there's a bit of black accent right here too and it has yeah it says Chanel here too in the front the sole looks like this super cool um, there's the Chanel label right here on the tongue little CC here in leather and yeah it's just very nice and this part right here this part is sort of like um it's sort of like a satin finish. It's a little bit more shiny. So there are uh, a, a few, you know, different textures. There's suede, there's this mesh fabric, there's the grain leather, and then there's a bit more suede, um, suede here as well in the CC, and then a little bit of shiny fabric here. Even though they are trainers, because of the color combo, I feel like they're gonna be very easy to style, and it's just gonna be one of those things where uh, I'm not gonna wear like all the time, obviously, but it's just whenever I need to do a lot of walking or when I wanna look cute and still be very comfortable, I think these will come in very, very handy. So yeah, these are, um, I think they are a permanent style. You will see a different color combination of the same shoe, uh, but just this color combo, this exact black and white and just this exact fabric, I'm not so sure if it's gonna be a permanent style but I do know that it was one of the most popular items from 22 Cruise. Okay, let's talk about these uh, few pieces first, as well as these new pants that I'm wearing. And then uh, I'll try on the jackets, which are the main event of this try-on haul. So I got 
these cute little jeans. They are sort of flared. Two front pockets right here, button up in front with exposed button, high-waisted, and they're just the cutest shape. They are just slightly flared, not so much. Uh, so they will be classic for many years to come. I think they are very flattering. These are from Maj. So I have um, three pieces that are from Maj this time. I just had to get a few things, of course, because Self Portrait and Maj are some of my favorite ready-to-wear, like mid-range ready-to-wear brand. And yeah, I highly recommend these cute jeans if you're looking for something more high-waisted, which is more modern nowadays. And as you can see, it tucks uh, any shirt very well. So I tucked in this really cute lilac silk shirt. Obviously, you don't need to have a belt. In fact, it actually looks really good even without a belt on. With the button exposed and the front pocket, it just looks really really nice and just very flattering to the figure slightly flared it will even go very well with these new sneakers that i just bought karis has shown this jacket and i think that's why it keeps selling out wool blend tweed kind of very substantial the inside is lined in a beautiful white fabric beautiful white buttons and i love the black trim details on it the only thing that I'm not as big of a fan is that it has ribbed uh, it has ribbed sleeves. I don't mind the body so much, but the sleeves, they're often too long. And because they're ribbed, they slightly are too long for my liking. But I do think that the jacket is so cute and the shape is very cute. So I do like it a lot, but I just wish that they didn't do this. You see this? It's too long, but otherwise the jacket is so well made. It's so well made. If you have longer arms, because I have very short arms for my height. If you have longer arms, it will look fine on you. So that's the other Maj. Um, and this is the last piece from Maj. So like I said in my previous haul, Maj is a French brand. So here it is. And it is um, pretty much like, like a, it's like a, chain boutique now in France and they are very popular. They uh, make very beautiful and uh, high quality clothing at a reasonable pricing. Also when you order from Farfetch, they are sent directly from the Marge warehouse in France. So that's really cool. So all of these items come from different places. Like I said earlier, they come from different boutiques and stores around the world. So these Maj pieces, they come straight from the Maj warehouse. So this next piece is like a little vest. And I thought it would be just a nice sort of um, little vest on top of your thinner shirts for the winter because it is getting very cold now. So any of your light shirts that, um, you know, you don't want too much bulk, but you still want the warmth. I feel like this cute little number, perfect for keeping warm in the winter. So yeah, that's how it looks like. It's a really nice material. It has these cute bow details. It's just quite nice. And the material is very soft. I think it's a viscose mix and it's quite stretchy. I got it in size one. Up next, we have this cute cardigan right here from my favorite brand self-portrait i just had to try always at least something from self-portrait i'm a big fan of the brand they make the cutest things and this when i saw it it kind of reminded me a bit of chanel for some reason maybe it is the stripe maybe it's the black and white i'm not so sure what it is it kind of reminded me of chanel and i just had to try it out so this is already the size small which i think this cardigan is a bit oversized i think it has a bit of that je ne sais quoi um chanel vibe to it i don't know what it is right it, it just has a little bit of that <laughs> chanel vibe to it drop shoulder it's a nice heavy weight cotton mix uh, cotton wool, but it's mostly cotton and it's just such a comfortable um, Kind of like more wintry fall 
cardigan. So this self-portrait came from a little boutique also in Italy. And that's what I love about Farfetch is that they're able to source it from all around the world. It's from this brand, Tagliatore. They even provided this nice dust bag for one of the jackets. They're both sent from different boutiques from Italy, both in size Italian 40, which is an equivalent of an extra small. Uh, but it does go down to 38, which would be a double extra small, which is typically my size. Both jackets, they uh, provided me hangers, which is amazing. I like having the original hangers of my ready to wear pieces. So another really beautiful soft cashmere. Look at the tailoring on the collar part of this. It's stitched all around. This one is more menswear inspired. It's definitely more of a you know, sort of like a menswear, very simple double-breasted look, uh, smaller lapels, and the uh, buttons, it has four buttons on the sleeves. And the back is also very streamlined with one slit in the middle. The cashmere on this one is slightly thinner, so it's very comfortable. It's really, really beautiful, but... Um, yeah, I just feel like being thinner, I won't be as warm in the winter, even though the tailoring is superb. So the inside is just all lined. It has the label right here. And this one, for some reason, is slightly more fitted already. So I feel like this is actually my size. Uh, whereas the other one, I probably could size down, but I feel like this is fine. The sleeves are, you know, slightly long but that's okay for a coat this is how the back looks like and the side and it just feels very streamlined very simple very clean um just very nice i can also prop up the collar i love that the collar has a different tone felt stitch so I can prop up the collar and sort of close the jacket a bit more when it's really cold or I can prop up the collar and just open it up for a casual look so yeah let me know what you think so this is the short jacket it's quite nice it's a little bit more fitted double breasted very very nice and soft cashmere in a darker gray color and it has a one button detail on the sleeve fully lined and this one is belted so this one is quite a bit longer because it's belted and it has a slit in the back right here in the middle and it's just the softest most beautiful tailoring. All the gray jackets are sold out in my size. So these are the only ones that were left uh, when I bought it. It was before the big sales started because I think they're currently having it 30% in addition to the sales, which is quite amazing. So this one, I, I love the big, big collar detail. Like right off the bat, like this, this is so dramatic and I love it. Um, so if I wear it open, it's just like this. A lot of fabric. It feels like it's a nice wrap. So it's very nice, like as it is already. Um, but if I were to close it, it does have slightly too much fabric. So right here, more room here. Therefore, when I cinch it in, it does sort of bunch up a bit. Do you see all the fabric being bunched up? So I can sort of fix it a bit and then move it down to the side and to the back. This one, I like that the, um, that the cashmere itself is a little thicker, so I feel like I will be warmer in this. Plus it is a wrap coat. It feels like with more fabric, it just keeps you warmer. So yeah, let me know what you think, guys. Because I kind of like both, but I, I really only need to replace one of my jacket, which is the light gray jacket that I've had for ages. So I thought I would replace it with another gray jacket. Open is really nice. It just looks like a very nice flowy jacket. And if I 
prop the collar, which I probably don't need to, but that's how it would look like. So let me know which jacket is your favorite. Is it the longer one with the belted look or is it the more fitted, shorter one? A little less busy, maybe less fabric, but at the same time, uh, the fabric is a little thinner. It, they're both cashmere, but it is a bit thinner. I think it's meant to be sort of a lighter jacket. Whereas the longer one with the belt, it is a thicker cashmere, so it feels very cozy. It feels like you have a big jacket over you and I feel like it will keep me quite quite warm but it does have a bit more fabric help me decide which jacket to keep and also let me know what you think of my Chanel haul I think I did pretty well I only did mostly accessory shopping uh, but like I said everything adds up so I am really trying to be very very choosy only adding the most stunning of pieces that I know I will uh, keep for a very long time. Don't forget to check out Farfetch and also I will link every single item that I featured down below including uh, the clothing of my own and uh, yeah thank you so much for watching. If you're new to my channel don't forget to subscribe I would love to have you back. If you want to support me further you can also become a channel member where you get more exclusive members only content and I'll talk to you guys again very soon. Bye!